Hey everybody, my name is Ian and welcome to From Beginner to Band and today we're looking at how to change chords without stopping. So if you're watching this video, maybe you've been playing a few months and you can already play some simple chords like A, D, E, G, C, etc. But when you're playing along with your songs, you cannot change in time and it's really getting you down. It's really affecting the way you feel about your guitar playing and you don't feel you're making much progress. So in this lesson, I'm going to give you three fantastic practice ideas that's going to help you smash your chord changes and help you keep in time with your favourite songs. So let's get started. Now, you might like playing football or rugby, and all you want to do is get out on the pitch and play the game. But one day your coach says to you, you know what, I think you better get in the gym. We need to work on your fitness, your strength, your stamina. And you're like, really? Yeah, really. So in this lesson, we are going to hit the guitar gym. We're going to hit the finger gym because it's all in your left hand. So if you are right-handed, that's your left hand. If you're left-handed, you're right-handed. What I'm trying to say is it's your chord hand. Okay, that's an obvious thing to say. It's all in your chord hand, but it is. So if you cannot get to the next chord in time, it's because your chord hand is just not coordinated enough yet for you to be able to do that. So we're gonna hit the gym now and we're gonna work on your chord hand. Now I call this left hand only if you're right handed or right hand only if you're left handed. <laughs> or let's call it, for this video, let's call it chord hand only. So. When you're practicing, a lot of the time, you'll strum with your chord. You'll kind of try and change your chord and you'll pause, okay? Let's eliminate, let's take out your strumming for the minute and let's just work on your left hand. So we're gonna hit this left hand gym. Okay, so if you are watching this video, I'm assuming you already know chords like A, D and E, possibly G, C, things like this, A minor your standard open chords. Now, the reason why you are not able to change in time is because your coordination of your chord hand is not good enough yet. So we need to work on your left hand only or your, your chord hand only by doing these movements. So here we are in finger gym. Okay, so let's look at some finger linking or finger sliding we can do. So from A to D, we can slide this third finger. Okay, so I want you to just grab your guitar, form the A chord, use your third finger to slide to the D, fingers off, slide back. So think of these three motions, fingers off, but you keep the finger down that you need. Slide, fingers down. Fingers off, slide, fingers down. Now you can do this with all the chord shapes that you know and work out which fingers you can keep down or slide. Now with this third finger, I could even slide to a G, a four finger G. So if I slide here, little finger down and then down to form a G slide back to A, okay? So pick two chords and try and slide, change between them. This is gonna help and improve your coordination and your speed in which you can get to the next chord. And that's gonna help you with your timing with songs. Once you've done D, you can do your first finger slide to E First finger slide back to D. We can go from D to G, keeping the third finger down, little finger down underneath and then change. We could go to G to E minor, using the first finger, 
as our linking finger there. That doesn't move. From E minor, we could go to a C, keeping our second finger down. From a C, we could go to A minor, keeping these two fingers down and moving the third finger. So C to A minor. From A minor, we could go to E, which is the same shape. Okay, so just take a couple of chords and learn to slide or link your fingers. This is going to really help your dexterity. So this is the first practice technique, is our finger gym or our chord hand only. Okay, so stop the video and just do this for five minutes with a couple of chords, okay? Now then, practice idea number two. Once you've come out of finger gym, we are going to learn to strum in time. Okay, so most people will go, if they're struggling with their timing, they'll go one, two, three, four, try and change one, two, three, four, and there's a slight pause. We need to iron out this pause, okay? Now it's really important that you always try and play in time. So if you're struggling with changing in time, it just means that the, the speed is too fast for you. So let's slow this down. And our next practice technique I call strum rest, which means we're gonna strum for one beat and we're gonna rest for one beat, okay? So if you've done your finger gym really well, you can play, you can change from A, sliding your third finger to D and back again. So you've got that already prepared. If you're still a bit shaky on that, keep doing your finger gym for another day or so. And when you come to doing this strum rest exercise, it's gonna be a lot easier. So how does this work? So a good speed to start at is 60 beats a minute um, as a rough guide. So if you've got your kitchen clock and you can see the second hand moving around, um, you can play to that. You can even go on Google and just type in metronome and select a speed of 60. But because if you're here and watching this video and you're really struggling with your chord changes, we're gonna make it even easier. And we're gonna go down to something like 40 beats a minute. And it doesn't matter how slow you play, as long as you're playing in time, then you're playing properly. So don't worry about playing really slowly. It's even better to do it really slowly. So how is this gonna work? So we're gonna play for one beat, then rest for a beat. Play from the beat, rest for another beat. Three, rest, four. After that fourth strum, we're going to change our chord and hopefully get to our next strum in time, okay? So when you're practicing by yourself, you can set your own tempo. But now we're gonna select, say around 40 beats, it's gonna be nice and slow. So I want you to play along with me and see if we can get to this chord in time. Okay, here we go, after four. One, two, three, four, and strum, and rest. Strum, rest, strum, Rest. Last one now, strum and change straight away, and one, rest, two, rest, three, rest. Last one now, four back to A and change straight away, and one, rest, two, rest, three, rest, and four. Okay, we'll just pause there. We've got another couple of tips to share with you. So, as you saw there, I didn't wait until the very last minute to change my chord. I used the whole of the rest to lift up my fingers, slide my finger, and put my fingers down to get D. Okay, this isn't cheating, this is just using all the rest that's available to us to change. As we get faster, the rest is going to get shorter, but you'll be quicker and you'll be able to get to that next beat in time as you get faster. 
So that's one tip. Go straight away after your last or after your fourth strum. The next tip is try and visualize the D chord while you're on, say, strum two or strum three of the A chord. So as I'm on A now, I'm thinking, how does the D look? Which finger do I need to slide? And when it's time to do that, I'm then prepared to slide my finger and put the chord down. Now then, as I'm on D, let's say I've just strummed the second beat. I'm now going to think of the A shape and think to myself, right, I've got to slide the third finger back um, and try and visualize the A shape almost over the top of the D. Okay, so there's a couple of tips there. So we're going to move straight away and you're going to visualize the new shape before you get there. Let's try this exercise again. After four again. One, two, three, four. So strum, rest, strum, rest, strum. Think of the D shape now. Last strum. Here we go. Third finger and slide. And one, rest, two, rest, three. Think about the A now. Rest. Four, third finger slide, here we go, and one, rest, two, rest, three, rest, four, back to the D and change, and one, rest, two, rest, three, rest, back to the A now and change, and one, rest, two, have a rest there. Now then let's think about uh, another chord we can add in here. Let's add in the first finger that's going to slide to the E and back to D. Now a great song that you might know is Wild Thing by the Trogs. Now if you check out the song, the song goes A, then it goes to D, then it goes to E, then it goes to D again. Okay, this is a brilliant finger gym chord sequence to slide the third finger, slide your first finger, slide your first finger again, slide the third finger. Okay, so check out that song. There's also other songs with A, D and E, which are Stir It Up and Three Little Birds by Bob Marley. Also Magic by Coldplay. Um, and also Hey Everybody by Five Seconds of Summer. They're all great songs that only use A, D and E. So check out those tracks. So we're going to do A for four beats, D for four beats, E for four beats, D for four beats, and back to A again with our strum rest idea. Here we go. After four, one, two, three, four. So strum, rest. Now think about the D shape, third finger slide. Last one now, here we go. Third finger lift up and go, and one. Rest, two, now think about the E shape, three, four, and change, here we go, and one, rest, two, rest, three, think about the D shape now, first finger slide, here we go, and change, and one, rest, two, rest, think about the A shape now, Four, and here we go, third finger slide, and one, rest, two, rest, three, rest, four, and rest there. Okay, so again, if that's still too fast for you, keep going with your finger gym, and then do a really slow one, rest, two, rest, three, Rest, four, change, and one, etc. Like I say, it doesn't matter how slow that you do it, as long as you're playing in time, then you're playing properly. Okay, there's nothing worse than practicing like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Because no song or band play like that, so there's no point in practicing that way. 
Okay, let's look at other chord sequences that we could do that are, that are easy. A really great one is going from a four finger G to a four finger C add nine. It's pretty much the same shape. So that's an easy change. So you could go one, rest, two, rest, three, rest, four, and change, and one, rest, two, rest, three, rest, four, rest, one, rest. Sweet Home Alabama is D, C add nine, and G, all the way through. There is an F chord in there, but don't worry about that one for the minute. So you can play through the whole song of Sweet Home Alabama using D, C O nine, and G. Work on that one. Another great one would be A minor to C. We only need to use one finger uh, change there from the third finger, sliding out to the C. Again, you could do your strum rest to that one. Add in F major seven. Okay, so Sam Smith, can't think what the song is called. Is it Stay With Me? Is A minor, F major seven, and C all the way through. So it goes one, two, three. So it's two strums on each chord until you get to the C, it's four. One, rest, two, rest, three, four. Back to A minor again, two beats on that one. Rest, two, rest, one, rest, two, rest, one, rest, two, etc. So check out that song. When you play that up to speed, it's pretty, pretty quick. So you might need a little bit of practice on your finger gym, going A minor, um, F major seven, C, A minor, F major seven, C. Um, to get up to speed with that. So the next thing we're going to do is gradually increase the speed. So let's start off with just doing our A to D chord. And let's see if we can get faster with this change. So here we go. Let's try at this speed. So one, rest, two, rest, three, rest, four. Okay. So here we go. So remember, four strums all together on the, on the A chord. Think about the D, think about lifting up the fingers from the A, sliding fingers down. Then on the way back, think about A, fingers off, slide back, and fingers down. Okay, here we go. Remember to change in the gap. One, two, three, four. So strum, rest, strum, rest. Think about the D now. Last one, here we go, and change our one. Rest, two, rest, three, rest. Think about A now, and change, and one, rest. Now think about D, lifting the fingers off. Last one, here we go, and change, and one. Rest, two, rest, three, rest, four, okay? If that tempo is is good for you, fantastic. If it's a bit too quick, go back to do your finger gym a little bit more and go back to the slower speed of around 40 beats a minute. One, rest, two, etc. Do a tempo that's right for you. And once you can play in time and feel that you're actually playing in time and playing properly, that's gonna give you real confidence and know that you can do it, and in time, you will increase the speed, absolutely certain of that. Um, so if you did um, keep up with that speed that we've just done, let's do a little bit faster. And again, as I'm increasing the speed, if it gets too quick for you, don't worry, this is just a goal to set, and you can keep referring back to this tutorial um, over the next couple of weeks, and, and using this um, as a benchmark of where to get to, okay? Let's do a little bit faster. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So strum, rest, strum. Think about the D now and change. Here we go. And one, two, three, four. Back to the A. One, two, three, four. Okay, a little bit quicker now. Here we go. And one, two, 
three. Think about the D and change. One, two, three. Back to the A and change. One, two, three. A bit quicker. One, two. Think about the A now. Four and one, two. We'll get rid of the rest now. To D, two, three. Back to the A and change. One, two, three. Four back to D. Keep on thinking ahead to the next chord. Back to A. One, two, three. A bit quicker. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. A bit quicker. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, have a rest there. Now, as mentioned, if you've kept up with that, then that's really fantastic. If it got a bit too quick, don't worry. Just go back, like I say, do your finger gym and, and build up. Now, you could add in D and then change to E as part of this process. So we've got four on A, four on D, four on E, back to D and then back to A again. Let's try that. One, two three, four, so strum, rest, strum. Think about the D, here we go and change, and one, two, three, back to E now, or over to E, one, two, think about the D now, first finger slide, back to D, and one, two, three, third finger slide now, back to A, and one, two, now third finger slide to D, and change, one, now think about E, first finger slide, and one, two, three, back to D, first finger slide, get a bit quicker, and one, two, think about D now, third finger and go, think about E now, first finger slide, and one, two, back to D, one, two, three, and have a rest now, back on A. Um, now, great songs to learn with A, D and E are Three Little Birds and Stir It Up by Bob Marley. There's also Chasing Cars by Snow Patrol. There's Magic by Coldplay and Hey Everybody by Five Seconds of Summer. Also Mullock and Tyre by Paul McCartney. So there's some six songs there that are just A, D and E chords. So check those songs out and try and play along with those. Um, now then, you could also think of another chord sequence, maybe C add nine to G, which is quite easy. We're just having to move two fingers. That might be one chord sequence that you can play. Four strums on, and it'd be quite easy for you to change. Okay, add in D to that. One, two, three, four, C add nine, three, and G. There you've got the chords to Sweet Home Alabama. Um, that song actually goes two times on D, two times on C, two times on G. Pretty much for the whole song. There is an F chord in there, which is, I'd say, just do a mini F like that. Goes to mini F, to a C, and then back to D again. That's the only change in the song. But check out that song for that, for those chords. Um, a minor to C. You've got A minor, F, major seven and C. That's Stay With Me by Sam Smith. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, so there's a few songs there you could play um, with those chord sequences. Um, now the next thing to do is you could add a strumming pattern. So let's take um, our A to D again and we'll play down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. That's probably the easiest strumming pattern to start off with. And it's very common on loads of songs. So you could go one, one pattern on the A, think about the D change, and then back to A again. Maybe do two times on the pattern. So you do two times on A, and again, down. Think about D, 
this will give you more time to think about what's coming up. Think about A now, two, three, back to A, and down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. Okay? Now you've got two things to think about, changing your chords and keeping the strumming going. So that's a little bit more difficult. Um, another idea to think about with your chord changes is what I called like a forced change. You're forcing your chord hand to change in time and you're keeping the strumming going. So let's just go back to single strums. Let's say I can't get in time with my change but I'm just going to keep my strumming going on automatic pilot and I've got to force my left hand to keep up. Even if I don't get the beat in time, I'm just going to keep going and I'm going to adjust my chord. So let's say I strum now and I don't get my chord in time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm still playing in time, but I'm forcing my hand to try and keep up. If you're playing with friends in a band, um, as long as you kind of keep strumming and keep in time, no one will really notice that much if you don't get the chord bang on time. But if you do stop, then people will notice. So that's another sort of way of thinking about um, changing your chords and just another sort of practice technique to do. Um, another little practice idea is what I call TV practice, I tell my students. So when you get home from work or get home from school and you, you're really tired, you can't really be bothered to get the guitar out and do some proper practice and you just want to watch a bit of TV, why don't you just grab a guitar while watching TV and just do your chord hand practice? So you don't make a sound, so if you're watching TV with the people in the room, you're not going to annoy them all the time by playing your guitar, but you're doing really effective practice if you just do it your left hand or your chord hand only. Okay, think of all the chord changes you could practice just by doing this. And this is what I want you to do anyway, is really hone in on your chord hand and, and really nail these changes. This is what's going to help you speed up and get smooth changes. Okay, if your chord hand can't do the movements, how are you gonna play in time? you won't be able to so you've got to do your finger gym you've got to get in the gym you've got to um, put a sweat on <laughs> and you've got to just do those motions and this is all there is to it it's just a bit of time a bit of practice doing these finger movements anybody can learn this okay there's no mystery to this just put your fingers on these strings and then move them to these other strings and that's it Okay, so keep practicing that and um, you're going to make real improvements there. So I hope you really enjoyed this video and have gained a lot of practice ideas to help you with your chord changes and get them smooth, get them playing in time. This is going to really help your confidence and your enjoyment of playing the guitar because you'll be able to play along now with your favourite songs um, and keep in time. If you play with your friends, you play in a band, you better keep in time better. Um, and it's going to really um, fire up your enthusiasm for playing the guitar and you're going to keep going. In this lesson we've covered finger gym, changing your chords, left hand only or chord hand only, really nailing those changes and just getting used to doing the movements and improving your dexterity. Then we've looked at our strum rest, where we play for a beat, we rest for a beat, then we um, increase the tempo, then we added in a strumming pattern and then we um, thought of this idea of, of a force change where you're trying to force the left hand to keep up with your strumming. So there's five real ideas there that you can take away and help you with your chord changing. Now as a special thank you for watching the video, I've got a free PDF download for you that covers all the elements from this tutorial plus some additional bonus practice ideas to help you with your chord changes and your progress as a guitar player. So click the link below now and download your free PDF. So thanks again for watching. I hope you've gained a lot from this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.